Sagar, the Prime Minister's concept of security and growth for all in the region is basically underwater domain awareness. And to that extent, we need to understand that Sagar is not simply a fuzzy, warm concept of brotherhood in the Indian Ocean. Below it lies certain very fundamental security and economic interests. And I think this is a point which Mohan Kumar uh, should hammer at every meeting. Fisheries, oil and gas, seabed mining, environment. These are not national security issues alone. These are issues relating to the bread and butter of Indian citizens and the 40 odd littoral states of the Indian Ocean. Therefore, we cannot look at uh, underwater domain awareness or maritime domain awareness in general simply from a national security perspective because that limits it. We need to draw in, as you very correctly pointed out, a multidisciplinary effort that involves key economic ministries, that, require, that involves those who are in the non-governmental space uh, but who are working for preservation of various aspects of marine life. Uh, as well as, of course, the technological uh, uh, institutions which will help us with underwater domain awareness. Now, where underwater awareness, domain awareness is concerned, we need to also uh, uh, recognize that uh, we cannot do this by ourselves. Maritime domain awareness on the surface, we have uh, a strong naval presence. We have a number of white shipping agreements. I presume our Navy will move towards grey shipping agreements as well. Underwater domain awareness, however, requires a certain technological capability. And uh, uh, if we do not have this capacity ourselves, we should not shy away from using capacity and technology of countries which have shown an inclination to help us. You need money to do this. And therefore, significant investments have to come from governmental sources, of course, but equally from the private sector, from business and industry. Uh, there is, after all, profit to be made where the environment is shifting, as uh, Mohan Kumar said, from the land to the sea. If that is the case, it cannot surely be government's responsibilities alone to develop maritime domain awareness or underwater domain awareness. And I want to end by referring to a comment I heard the former National Security Advisor, Mr. Shiv Shankar Menon make. He said that before 1800, circa 1800, when India was arguably for a 1,000 years either the world's largest or second largest economy, the wealth and prosperity of India did not come from the Indo-Gangetic plain. That was the granary of India. The wealth and prosperity of India came from the Gujarat coast. It came from the Malabar coast. It came from the Coromandel coast. It came from the Carnatic coast and it came from Bengal, which is today Bangladesh and West Bengal. So uh, thank you once again for inviting me to make uh, closing comments.